This program is sponsored by Dave Stahl. Power on. Power on. It's time to take your place on the starting grid and get ready for Racer Radio. Your host, Dave Stahl, about to take you for a white knuckle lap around the motorsports industry, covering everything from top notch national drivers and crew chiefs right down to your local kid racers and racetracks. Watch for the apex, because here comes Racer Radio with Dave Stahl. Folks, welcome to Racer Radio. Brendan, how can we get Brittany's name added to that intro? <laughs> I, I'll, I'll uh, call the guy who made the uh, intro. And see <laughs> or maybe you could just make a new one. Oh, I make a new one? Yeah, I love this song, though. Okay. I do, too. No, actually, we do have the song, actually. Does the guy still here? No, the guy left a long time ago, unfortunately. So he's at, he's at AI. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or KGBWT or whatever we'll get, the hell uh, that is. We'll, we'll get a I, AI Sheldon Creed yeah. voice yeah. to voice this and say, uh, uh, racing yes. school teacher. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Like now, Thanks, gentlemen. That's a great idea. Yeah. All right. This is FM 961 AM 1178. The answer. That's the girl. Brought to you by Southwest Point of Sale. You got a business, liquor store, grocery store, having trouble keeping employees. Try to go self checkout. Walmart did it. Home Depot did it. Why can't you? Give them a call. 1-800-560-2149. They'll come out, take a look. If it fits, boom, they'll pop it in for less than the price of a cash register. And you'll get seven-day a week, 24-hour day service. Southwest Point of Sale. Black Forest Motorsports. Hey, they're out there in San Diego on Engineer Road. The best way to find them is blackforest.com, blackforest.com. Whether you're driving a BMW Mini or a Porsche, They'll take care of your street legal needs as well as your gearhead needs. All right. We got Brittany in the house. Yeah. She's so relaxed. Yes. No, I'm... she didn't get to race, but she got to practice. Yeah, at a Friday night therapy session. Got to go to the race on Saturday oh, night. Oh, yeah. Sat on the ground with her two fingers touching, you know. And just, um, yep. Oh, um, I, yeah. I was so relaxed. Friday, first time out. On that track. It so was how was it? Was the track was the track good? I came in. I go, Dad. We can go home now. I got my money's worth. It was rad. Was Sorry, the, tra- to the age track myself, was good. It was amazing. Was <laughs> yeah, it really? felt really good. Got a little rough uh, as the night went, but okay. I'm in a little, you know. What about the berms? Pound. They, they brought the K rails. It up. was rad. It was rad. I loved it. I had a good time. I was the only dwarf. I can't believe that a single like I was. So they sent me out with the. Uh, Lightning sprints, winged lightning sprints. So a little intimidating because they're fast with those wings on. But uh, thank you, Mark Rose, for what you said in our ear. It was hilarious. Did you keep, um, keep up with them? I, I did just fine. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I had a great time. I was grinning at that first time out. It was, felt yeah. so good to be out. Yeah, so I feel those good. Those guys are probably looking back. What, what, what is that? <laughs> it was fun. Where's was that fun. going? I think it was a good turnout. We were trying to figure out at least 40 adults and then a handful of junior drivers That's not bad. and terry was keeping us going uh no accidents i think because the None. track was hooked up that's friday night <laughs> <laughs> different story last night but it felt great to be back behind the wheel yeah super happy but really happy because we have a local driver i would say certainly a fan favorite <laughs> to know her is to love her if nothing else her name yeah yes Please welcome Sunny Trent, one of my faves. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. I appreciate that. So, tell us a little bit about yourself, a little bio a little for people bio. that don't know. So, go ahead and pull that mic down. Just there you go. Better? Perfect. All right. Um, I don't know. I think that if I were to give myself a little bio, I, I race, I fish, and I kind of work in a fishy job. So, what's your fishy job? I manage a fish market down in Point Loma. Poi Lama she catches seafood? No, and new, it's a new, it's new. Should I try it? You have to try yeah. it. Yeah. It's not, you should, you you have to try it. And what's it. the name of it? It's called Tunaville Market and Grocery. Tunaville. You know who I ran into Where? yesterday? What? Becky McBride, and you were the first person to come up. You know Sunny. Becky? And, I do. And then she mentioned where it's like on Twenty Fourth Street or something. She like immediately we started talking about fishing. Yeah. Oh, you, yeah. 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 Like she's wow. she comes to mind when you talk about dirt track racing, but she also also comes to mind when it comes to fishing. Becky wow. has been a really she's been a huge. Uh, you know. She's yeah, but you know why? Because she sees talent. Yes. Well no, said, I'm, Dave. No, I, I, 
I've known her longer than probably you guys have almost been around. We go way back. We've done so many things together. That is so cool. She's such a sweetheart. Yeah, yeah. she's really she's really nice. And yeah. she's actually, she's helped me out a lot just kind of as far as almost like self-promotion. Right. You know, like well, how to represent myself in this community. That's why you're sitting in that chair. Mm-hmm. Well, because it's all part of it. You can be the greatest driver. I always use this analogy and sometimes I get in trouble. You ever, you know much about NASCAR? Well, I have. You ever heard of Ward Burton? Yeah. Do you ever heard of Jeff Burton? Yes. Okay, well, Jeff Burton says, my name's Jeff Burton. I drive race cars. Ward Burton says, my name's Jeff my name's Ward Burton. I drive race cars. You go, well, 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 why did he just say? Even though Ward could outdrive Jeff, Ward lost the gig because he couldn't talk. Because what's the advertiser want? Because you don't know where you're going to yeah, go with exactly. this. Exactly. You don't know. You could, you know, you could be in the in the limelight, no problem at all. So, I think it's important that you see that whether you're looking to r- race your whole life. It's definitely changed over the last couple of years, as far as you has know, your career changed when it comes to motorsports? Would you say? Definitely. I mean, you know, I know that before it was for fun. Yeah, it was more for fun, and you know, it's still that's obviously number well, one priority. But um, you know, yeah, it's definitely changed as far as like you know, as far as like sponsorship and stuff like that. What are they looking for? Yeah. If you're not if you're not being proactive, then they're you're not gonna lose them. Yeah, it's not a they're not benefiting from it right. as well. So that right. has been a huge thing. For our listeners who aren't well versed in Sunny Trent, would you fill us in regarding the divisions? Or division this that season in. that you race. So, yeah. <laughs> so maybe clarify for the people who even know you. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's been Good primarily point. street stocks for, for many, many years and um, really wanted to make a jump into a new class. So ended up getting a sport mod to try that whole modified lifestyle out. Big change? Huge <laughs> change. Oh, my gosh. I thought. It's like you know, going from a Sportster to an Electroglide Classic. I totally thought that, you know, not not that I have a big ego, but I was like, you know what? I'm, I can handle this. I can like, handle this. I've gonna, watched him. Yeah. Well, and, she wins. I, I just, again, people who don't know you, you didn't just jump because you were bored or weren't doing well in that division, which some people do. They're not doing well in some divisions, so they just it must move be over. The, it must exactly. be the division. Yeah. That's not the case with Sunny. She's been on the podium several times, just for people who don't know thank you yeah so but you know it's it's a definitely it's a huge change and in the way that anything i've ever learned in oh no my car <laughs> it's not applicable oh, to oh i was afraid you were gonna say that like completely completely different. but they all told you they did um it, is there someone helping you through that or was there somebody helping you through um, that um i mean definitely have a lot of people chatting with me but seat time is everything seat yeah. time. and you know yeah. my driving style right. what does a car want well Anyways, long story short, yeah. mm-hmm. I'm not going to be able to get any more seat time till probably maybe halfway through the season. I took the car out for the second time out yeah. in Arizona, yeah. and it got it got it's done. So I you have killed to get, it. Yeah, I I. Uh, but you're okay. It was an older chassis. It was an older chassis. But you're but okay. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. And um, it's just I don't think it's cost effective to actually repair it so yeah. we're just gonna get something that's newer a little bit more updated yeah 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 well that's yeah you, yeah this is pouring you know good money after uh, yeah Chasing. especially if it's a design or a style that's so far antiquated it's it just makes you, your goals that farther out yeah so so we're gonna you just need a sponsor you need a frame well, sponsor so when you said having her on K- on kusi yeah. Do you still have the old car? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So oh, a cool. lot of the parts and stuff on the car. Okay. Are... No, no, no. That's going to be the prop. Yeah. For KUSI. So we'll drag, <laughs> drag that old there. wreck. Oh, we'll put it on a patio. <laughs> we'll do the old, come on, help this girl oh. out. She can't win with this. It's only got three <laughs> wheels. And come on. in the on. meantime, though, she kept her old car. I did. And tell us the division and maybe how you did on opening night. So. Well, what division is this? Street Sox. Okay, so you didn't get rid of the old girl. That's what no. I said. <laughs> you didn't get rid what of it. What year is it? What is it? So it's a it's an older Impala, but um, it came from Paris. It originally was an asphalt car, and then they converted it to a half mile car, and then I got it, and we turned it to a quarter, quarter mile, mile dirt. Quarter mile car. <laughs> yeah. Hold that thought. We got to take a quick break. This is Racer Radio FM ninety six one AM eleven seventy. The answer.
All right, folks. Welcome back. This is Racer Radio FM 961 AM 1170. The answer. This segment is brought to you by El Cajon Ford. We're nobody, absolutely nobody, treats you better than El Cajon Ford. New, used, service. Everything is welcome. Yeah, that's right. Every car in your driveway can go to the service department and get service. And if you're looking for uh, escapes and Broncos, oh my gosh, looks like Bronco City. They're granging out in the back lot. El Cajon Ford. Go to El Cajon Motors.com. El Cajon Motors.com. Well, I know Mark Rose is calling in today. Or dirt, dude. Or uh, dirt, dude. Uh, well, he did finish up another drawer, I hear, so uh, <gasps> it's dirt, dude. So. With results, I would imagine. Okay, dirt, dude. Are you there, sir? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have a voice? I didn't think you'd have a voice after that B-Main. No, I'm, I'm at, I am trying to recover. Oh, my dude, that God. Was- it dude, was a brutal night. Dude, that <laughs> sound, you, dude you sound terrible. That's really I, nice, I, Dave. I, I know. Well, actually, I was surprised. Brittany goes, you guys sounded great last night. I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> he was, was having a, fun was during it. Wreck. <laughs> yeah, but you had fun, right? Yeah, yeah. It was. It's one of the craziest opening nights I've <sighs> ever seen at our track. Uh, okay, explain, the explain, explain to the, the people that were goofy enough not to come. What do you mean by that? Yeah, you know, it was just a, just a crazy night. Just like a couple of big wrecks, a couple of caution, I mean, a, lot, a lot of cautions. It just like it, it went on, and you know the track was great, but they tore that facility apart last night. Yeah. You're gonna have to replace probably four posts, restring the wires. Um, <laughs> you know, the, for the safety wires. It was for some reason everyone just think they can get their car out of the park last night, and we kept them in the park. Yeah. Even the crazy. junior drivers drove through a couple bales, and <laughs> I had never yeah. seen Nick Novak yeah. move so fast. Is, is this the first night yeah, racing? Yeah, I mean, people, a lot of people pent out of the up, car. Yeah, a little pent exactly. up lack of talent, uh, heavy on know, the right just, foot. <laughs> something that track was just a lot faster, and it surprised everyone. Or everyone's yeah. just been out of it for a while, and they needed to practice or surprise everybody. It was. It was just a crazy night. I mean, I, I don't know what our car count was because I know we had our, our best one a was uh, the pure stocks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pure stocks. Twenty-five cars. So somebody pure who stocks. raced last night, Sonny, you, you can't see it because it's radio. When you mentioned maybe it was a faster track than people imagined, you nodded at that, didn't you? What do you think, Sonny? Yeah, the track is is so much different in a good way. It's a fast track, and and like you guys are talking about accidents and stuff. I feel like with the the time between you know october to now yeah and then a lot faster track <laughs> yep you know oh. we're, we're not driving you are we ready we can't drive the track the same way that we did yeah. six months ago five months ago so um it was definitely a good track it was fast i like it so the next time you go you'll there, I, i'm sure don't you think they're due to a lot less carnage because people will now remember what changes have been made and no they can't do what they thought they could you think yeah, I think that hopefully some. the biggest thing is everyone thinks they're not going to win on the first yeah. lap. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> everyone gets out there. Look, I'm going to take the checkered on the after we right after we take uh, the green. The first lap, yeah. the second lap, I'm taking the checkered. I'm like, no, you got to get through 10 more, 20 more of these laps. And they're like, no, I'm out. I'm going to get yeah. you from the back to the front. That's floor. adrenaline. I still think it's being pent up. A adrenaline. lot of adrenaline. I think a newer track, you know, conditions. Yeah. Maybe more people should have shown up to practice. They well, would have found out As then. much as you complained, nobody better ever say nothing to you about practice because you did everything humanly yeah. possible oh, to have make it, sure. Have it, have it. Pra- I mean, you didn't even ask Dirt Dude how you feeling. All you'd say <laughs> is, are we are practicing? We gonna practice? Are we going to practice? I mean, it's gotten to the point where half the people are afraid to call in because that's all you're going to ask. <laughs> are you going to practice? It was run really well. I really enjoyed it. Which which is interesting. Does that change the mindset on practice from this day forward? Or at least for five more races. Our spectator count was great last night. We had almost 700. I know. It, it was, was a, filled was during night. the heat races. I looked around. I'm like, man. It looked good. It looked yeah. Good. yeah, let's give KUSI a little credit. Oh, Me and yeah, Dirt definitely. Dude. We're the ones that took definitely. care of that problem. You get a, hey, go, hey, get, go get a hey, race. Hats off. hats off to Sonny. She drove that car. Yes, yeah, I mean, she she's did. Going up against, she's going up against an IMCA uh Street Star, I'm CA stock car, and Brian Fitzgibbons mm-hmm. in that car is just a rocket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he is. And she knew she that going in. You stayed with she you got, stayed with the man. Was, 
Chris. behind him and just like tried, you know, doing everything. Her in the five of uh, Scott Duffy. Dude, That's Scott the only is car getting that had a fast. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> I'm looking. I'm like, oh man, this guy. He's he's starting. He's coming. The mail. He's yeah. coming. <laughs> you had a great battle between you and Scott Duffy. Had I the, the for second that we we already knew who was going to walk away with this in the front, but that battle for second was between you and Scott. That's and fun. Was that was really really a good time, and it's it's fun to find people like that on the track. And um, so that last night was a lot of fun. Um, you know, second. It you know wish it was the win, but that's okay because I had a, a really great time, especially first race out. Yeah. So. Well, and that's the key. Like, you, you can't stop saying fun because that's the only reason you go out there. Yeah. You know, and it has and, to well, be. You, and you that adrenaline. Two different classes too. I mean, they're running together, but you have two different versions of a street stock. And one has advantage over the other one, and one has advantage over the other well, one. We, you know, we, we know which one's back. faster than the other one. And I appreciate you bringing that up, too, because I don't know if a lot of people in the stands What is the realize. difference? What is the difference, would you say? So, I mean, they just, they have a lot more, you know, they have, they can do a lot more things to their oh, car. I see. And okay. then also, too, they are on, like, a national points deal, and they're mm-hmm. following rules nationally versus just, like, our Barona rules. Sa- so. Same engines? No. There's bigger? <laughs> they definitely have a little more power in them. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to give a visual well, to the listeners. Way, Brian, Fitz, Brian Fitzgibbon was going in the corner, and that car was so rolled over, he was carrying the front end yeah. and hunkered down in the bottom, on the in the back, and he was a foot off the wall. Wow. Off the top of the wall. Was, I mean, just that car just so they got ran. suspension advantages, engine advantages, you know, pretty much. You know. They're allowed to roll over more, like more modified. Right. They can torque over and carry a front end, where street second. stock is not going to do that. You should smile farther apart, girl. <laughs> but I like the fact that you're not, because yeah. that means you're hungry. She's hungry yeah. and humble, though. I, it's, I well, no, I give her all that, but I could just tell. Well, She's you know, when very you see, hungry. You don't <laughs> see. I haven't seen anybody get excited about second. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe third, I can live with it. Fourth is okay, but second, I can't live with second. Well, you know, last right? year, last year Brian was a huge contender last year, and so my, you know, definitely my focus is not only to win, but he is, he's a force to be reckoned with right yeah. now. And I'm like, I gotta, you're I not gotta afraid of him. I gotta get no, no right? not afraid of him. Not afraid of him. I you, respect him though as a driver. Oh, absolutely, for sure. absolutely. Well, and that that's important, and that's and what I think. It sounds to me like people have gotten comfortable, because you're a girl, but they got comfortable racing with you. Which is good. That well, that's It's everything. Yeah. It's almost better than winning to get your, your – because then that's where the fun comes in. That's where that – No, I like I like battling it out. Yeah. You know, so Do any little rubbing? A little bit in the beginning. <laughs> did, we not, <laughs> did we stop doing that? <laughs> no. Can I have put big bumpers on the side? No, I'm not really kidding. What else does they have? Give me. I, you Plus haven't got results. You haven't yeah, got me, time for results, but give it a rip. Let me go. I'll, I'll try and get what we can here. So uh, Chase Rogers in a sports man indoor first time in the car ever. That kid got a main event win. That was wow. cool to nice. see. The family was excited. Uh, junior sprints. Kyler Warner got a main event yeah, win. Yeah, he was on. Johnson. Growing up in the garage in a Masters mean dwarf got a main event win onto the big track. Timothy Ardlins, Ardlins, uh from uh, Prescott Valley got a modified main event win, and that was a good battle between him and the 77 of Cole Dick. That was a good one. Only one that really gave him a run for the money, money for that night. 11, uh, Dennis Taylor in the Pony Stocks main event win. And the IMCA Sport Mods, Dave Capella, held the whole group off. And his brother, Jake Kriska, came in second. And that's how they ran the whole night. That was a good he that was fun watching that That was race, a good one. The brothers. Um, on to your IMCA Street Stocks, uh, stock cars. That's uh, Brian Fitzgibbon's got the win on that one. And then in your sport compacts, one of the coolest things I've seen, Billy Fouts got a main event win. And you know how the sport compacts are front-wheel drive? Yeah. First time. First time I've ever seen a slide job on a front-wheel drive car, Billy Fouts <laughs> went and did a slide job on Chris Nini coming out of turn four. I'm like, you don't ever see that on a front-wheel drive car. Wow. It was totally cr- Those guys battled the whole night. And then, like, my winner circle picture has Chris Nini and Billy. They're good friends. And they, they got out of the car, and they're like, man, that was just the awesomest drive that they had. It was wow. great for them. Um, on to the Pure Stocks, Christopher Evans got a main event win. And next race is the 29th. We're going to feature sport mods, sport compacts, pony stocks, dwarf cars, pure stocks, and our junior drivers. 
Got it in. So we yeah, he did he get did. it in. I'm impressed. Go back to the junior driver growing up garage winner. That pass at the end was awesome. Like everybody in the infield was like, What happened? It's what did very you do? he just it was a great finish for the junior drivers. It's, it's crazy. For the racing we had last night, there was a lot of great racing. And then there was a lot of sheer destruction chaos you're just like what just happened and you know like everybody okay the heat races oh everyone's okay okay the heat races one of the guys caught the wall coming out down the front straightaway and just like they all rolled the car down the front straightaway ripped the front of it off you know it's just wow how are you gonna how are you gonna top that well hold my beard because someone yeah. else came out and was like let me show you how to do this but i'll do balls. it on the other side we had a car that almost left the park last night caught the carry on or caught the Fence, fence. fence and, and brought it back in. Yeah, guess we got to make it taller. Going over, he was going. Well, he was rolling down the back straightaway. Another car drove underneath him, uh, and you know that was that was the craziest one I've seen wow. since I've probably been there. I mean, there's a couple, but that one looked like the most violent. But both drivers got out okay. Uh, they were wanted to transport one of the drivers, and then he declined, and then so his family took him. So I'm not sure. I haven't got a report on how the other driver. You know, if they did take him to the hospital or not or anything, we yeah. suggested it, and he declined. And yeah. okay, you know, uh, interesting. That was just a crazy, crazy night. Like I said, but it was one of those, it was fun. It was. It got the opener out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> My happiest thing is we finished before midnight. I was like, we finished before it went to a new day. Wow. Have you amazing. talked to the Salazars or Mark Rose? No, I, I just, they, they were like, everyone was so tired. Yeah. I know everyone was just like, we're done. You know, we'll talk about it, you know, in a couple, couple yeah, we'll of weeks. Meet, we'll meet in a week and then we'll chat. Yeah. Right. Everyone just is like, we're going to go our own way for the next day or two and then they're like, recover. <laughs> okay. Cool. Well, hey, glad it was successful. Folks, put that on your calendar. The next race is? The 29th, April 29th. Because Brendan's coming, I think. Right, oh, really? I, I, you I, have his credentials? Tell him to come see me. I'll, I'll take care of him. I, I, the voice of uh, Barona right there. Oh, wait, how, late, how late do you work Saturday? Saturday I work till 1. So, you know. Why don't you Not take the wife and go out? Uh, I will. I will. It, it'll make the kid come at least in a week, week, two, oh, maybe two the, weeks. The early. baby would be kicking in her stomach like I crazy. Know, I feel the early. rumbles. Oh, my <laughs> see, God. See, see, see. <laughs> All right. Hey, buddy. Thanks a lot. Baronaspeedway.com. Baronaspeedway.com. Be there. Be square. All right, thanks, guys. I'll see you. You got it. Take FM 96.1 AM 1170. The answer. All right, welcome to Racer Radio. FM 96.1 AM 1170. The answer. Paris Auto Speedway. <laughs> you want to curl your hair, buy a race car, and go to Paris Auto Speedway. Matt Mitchell did. Yeah. <laughs> hey, congratulations, brother. Thank you guys. Yes. Appreciate you guys having me on. Wow, you still on Cloud Nine? Opening night, dude. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got yeah. yeah <laughs> those, those ones, you, you go to bed a little later. Yeah, <laughs> you wake up earlier. You know, wow. so yeah, I mean, it feels it feels good. How long you been racer? Um, my first sprint car race was uh, in 2006. Out, out of Paris, okay. uh, I, I raced a team car with uh, with Rip Williams. Who, oh yeah, who had a I had a great great career. How many wins so far? How many wins do I have? Like USAC races? Uh huh. So far, um, I think I think I've got I think I've got ten. Wow. And but the, but they're all the same, good. right? Don't they all feel the same every time you win, or does it get better yeah. and better and better? Because it seems like they get farther uh, and farther and farther. No, these ones these ones are better, yeah. I, I'd say, because I'm a little a little older and um, <laughs> yeah. I, I, just, I, I just feel like uh, when you're younger, you don't you don't appreciate it like you like you do now, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, we got kids and a family and so so many more people to share it with. Right. Uh, well, when you're young, family. it's kind of like yeah, okay, that's cool. You know, I want to put the trophy in the corner and I'm great to go. Then every time you do the next one, it's even more exciting. But then, then all of a sudden, you got we have a young lady in the house. Uh, you know, Sunny West, Sunny Trent, or Trent. What did I say, Trent? I, I can't, I can't say. I okay, do, well, she's I, I, she's, she's a, a young, car. she's a young lady, and she doesn't. She, would you ever drive a sprint car? 
I'd definitely try She'd it. She'd do anything, yeah. Dave. But she's doing, the, she's doing it at our local, local track as well. Very good at what okay. she does. But she went from awesome. stock to... Sport mod. Sport mod, which is you know, a little bit different. But going back to last night, kind of give us a rundown how it went. So we uh, we timed in. We were quick time, so I, nice. I was I was quick as far in, in qualifying, and then uh, uh, w- which is which is good, you know, builds your builds your confidence. It doesn't then, hurt. That's for sure. <laughs> doesn't hurt. Yeah, you, you go into the the heat race, and um, I started like outside of the third row, and I actually was like battling for a transfer Ooh. with Charles Davis and Chris Ganson, and. And it was tight, so I, I, they were like, we we're trying to go three wide on kind of a narrow track, and I was mm. on the top, so I, I ended up like getting the nose up, stalling, and then going to the back, and then I got back up to four, so uh, we made the invert there, and I started, oh. I started six, and uh, got to third like pretty pretty quick. I feel like within the first like ten laps, and then like rode around there for a while and it just kind of was like trying to figure out what was right and then there was a red um pulled down by the fence and kind of talked to my guys and you know they came over and and you know told me where 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 a couple guys were running maybe not gaining time but uh, those guys were were you know maintaining another part of the track because we were kind of on the bottom um and then I took those notes and just kind of put together the last couple of restarts where I could, you know, put myself in position and went to the top and then was able to get around the leader and duck down and just, you know, tried to hit my marks from there. And that was it. Yeah. So let me ask you a question, because I think I've been wanting to ask this for an awful long time, but I've never caught anybody in a situation where I can ask it. So you mm-hmm. you're in, in the top five, let's just say, and all of a sudden you have to go to the back. What is it about you that can get back to third or fourth, where everybody else back in the back are still back in the back? A- have you ever thought of that? I mean, are you that more determined? Take more risks? You know what I'm saying? I uh, yeah, I, I I get it. So I, I think it really is more about like keeping yourself like like calm in the car and then knowing that uh (laughs) that you have like a good car underneath you and even if you don't have a good car underneath you like knowing how to drive a car that might not be to your liking like what you need to change about it to make it work for you in that instance you know because there's a lot of drivers that I've seen that can only drive like one type of car. And if the car's not good, then that like, to their liking, mm-hmm. then kind of everything's out the window, you yeah. know? So it's not always going to be perfect. You know, I think that's what separates like the great drivers from like good drivers. Right. That, like, that's, well, that's not a to good say, point. I, I, yeah. I, I guess I that, like, oh, go ahead. I can always do it. But yeah. sometimes it's like too far gone. No, you know? no. It's like, yeah. <laughs> It's too far. But, but what he says but is like, huge. I don't want to get away from this, Dave, because you're about to take us away. No. If you did like the wrong setup or something, that could ruin you mentally. Oh, totally. And so it's like, well, it's not the car I can change. I'm in the middle of a race. How am I going to change? Right. How, what am I going to do different? Yeah. And my yeah. point yeah. was, where I wasn't going yeah. too far oh, off, off in the left field, <laughs> is that when you get taken to the back, it's like you're all the other drivers are trying to win the race. I get it. But you, because of this burden that you put on yourself or the car put on yourself, now you have to concentrate harder, drive smarter, drive more relaxed, like a chess game to get, don't panic, don't panic, just take one at a time, one at a time. You know what to do to get around them. And I think that's where the great driver comes from because I've known drivers that have been driving their whole lives and never even come close to winning. Not saying that, that but, was me you were talking about. No, no, no. no. We, yeah, but you're into it. You're into it for a totally different no. reason. You're into it for a totally no, different no, reason. But, but that tells me that you have what it takes depending on how far you want to go. Don't you kind of, down deep inside, don't you kind of feel that? 
By Amy, it'll come back from the back to the front. Pick them off one at a time, like you said. Oh, that's right. You yeah, won. Yeah. Ha! You went even farther. I mean, does, do you yeah, kind of see where I'm coming yeah, from? Yeah, like first you have to know you can do it. Yeah. Like that, that comes before anything, right? Right. You got to be confident in your skill set, always. And then, you know, you sometimes you luck out and, you know, guys slip up. Yeah. Or, I mean, their touch changes so much, right? There's, there's like you know, the best, the best now. Like it's different than than pavement racing, and I feel like because there's there's more changing conditions Absolutely. and there's a little bit more variables. <laughs> there's a little bit more variables involved. So, um, and I might be overanalyzing it a little bit right now, but that's just you know my 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 take on it. That's how you can get to the front. You watch somebody what they do the lap before, and then. Right. You kind of just pick off a bat and then, you know, do, do it different the next lap to position yourself to get by them. Yeah. yeah. So, well, it's good he has this. You mentally have, to, mentally have to be there, though, for without, sure. Without a shot. But, and you know, it's funny because luck has to be involved. And my example is Derek Cope, who never won mm-hmm. a race in NASCAR except at the Daytona 500. Earnhardt blew a tire. Cope was second, won the race, and he's in the infamy for not being a very good driver. That's the luck aspect of it. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's a good analogy or not, but that's mine. We don't like it. Sunny's rolling her eyes over there. (laughs) Well, I'm glad he has this mindset. I mean, mean, Cope's still a household name. I know. Why? Because he won the Daytona 500. Second in NASCAR is pretty darn good. I don't know. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I take it. Well, But I'm glad he has this mindset. Because he's committed, you're committed yeah, to this series. Hey, right, but he's still talking about Earnhardt. Yeah. <laughs> or Cope. I bet he's got a Cope hat on. What do you want to bet? You think? Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you do for a living? So I, uh, I am an air conditioning contractor. Cool. Um, oh, get it. Cool. I trade. So I, a small small shop. All right. Um, just, yeah. There's just a, there's just a few of us. Hey, everybody has to have AC and heat, don't you? Don't I mean, you guys are worth your weight in gold. Who's on the side of the race car? Who gets you there? Uh, so I got I got uh, quite quite a few people to help us out. You know, both awesome. both product and uh, corporation. So mm-hmm. uh, Dunham Dunham Metal Processing is a is a anodized and metal processing shop in uh, Orange, and I've known them known them for a long time. Wow. Um, they, they help us out, help us out this year, and the uh, great guys, H and M Landing. Uh, you guys, you guys may have heard of heard of them. They're <laughs> they, they have like one, one of the biggest fishing charters in, uh, oh, yeah. in San Diego. I, actually, I know they're the largest. You just, they're, hey, they're, you yeah. just made Sunny giggle because this girl eats, sleeps, and drinks fishing, right? Yeah, I work, yeah. I work literally right down the sidewalk from from, from H&M. H&M. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so they have like you know eighty different charters. Oh and, yeah, and Frank over there is a great guy. And beautiful my, boats, my beautiful boats. Yeah, a bunch of well maintained boats, and they 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 have everything from you know just half day deals to you know long range trips and stuff. So they got it all covered, and they help us out. Um, you know, obviously, you know, racing for me has always been. It, come through like generations so my family you know helps helps with the racing a ton oh. uh, and that's both sides of the family everyone supports it and stuff so I, you know i can't thank them enough wow. my, my wife i have three kids um the fact that i even still get to do it is sometimes you know i have to be grateful for that for sure. sure with all the all the kiddos i got so yeah but winning uh, winning helps it yeah. built, it, it, if the kids love to see winning, dad's winning, mom can't say nothing, and she probably loves oh, the fact you're winning too. Of course. That's like an, like an emotional return on investment. Exactly. <laughs> I like the way you think. What's your number? Uh, 37. Got, yep. a, got a reason? Got a reason for it? Uh, yeah, that's just all family. That's all, fa- that's all family. So my, uh, my, my, Dad and uncle fielded a car in the 70s, and it was a 37 car, and then quarter midgets were always, for me, 37. So 
um, yeah, grew, growing up, uh, that was just it. All right. So a- yeah. ask Brittany what her car number is. <laughs> What's your car number, Brittany? Uh, Lil 37. I did see that he was 37. I yes, did, too. I really root for you and Jake Swanson. Awesome, awesome. Yes. So for what reason is your, is your car number 37? It well, it actually came with it. I wasn't really feeling it until I went through some old photos, and it was my mom's old motocross number. So, yeah. Oh, that's so uh, cool. An old black and white picture i came across and she used to race 37 motocross in the 70s so that took care of that <laughs> so i was like it was meant to be yeah that's that's reason enough for it to stick yep well family. you know because you always want to know why because yeah. it's because i think because every almost nine out of ten have a story story behind it and last but not least where's your food sponsor my food sponsor he always you gotta get one that. dude you know what i mean always come on asks. you get hungry I always tell everybody, yeah. even the little kids, go find a food sponsor. Go find a food sponsor. I got to Yeah, I guess I, I guess I have to take some notes right now. <laughs> yeah, well, you you have been to class. You have been to class. One guy did do better than me. He got a beer sponsor. Yeah. So I mean, what can I say? I mean, a beer sponsor. You can't go wrong. With nah. sure, <laughs> Matt, thank you very much. How do people follow you around? I know your social media because you got three kids. Yeah. Yeah. I've got I got a couple personal pages, so just just uh, just search Matt Mitchell on Instagram or Facebook, gotcha. and then I have uh, JW Mitchell Motorsports is the is the name of our team, and um, we got we got stuff there on Facebook. All right, so cool. You can catch us. You can catch us there. Good luck hey, running that. Silver tell crown. Scott Delosio you want to call in later on throughout the uh, the season. Keep us up to breast on how things are going. We love to have you back. You're great. Well, I will. I appreciate you guys having me. You guys have have a good rest of your day. All right, you too. All right, we're going to take a quick break. This is Racer Radio. You got to talk to this hot rod over here to the right Mm -hmm. on FM 961 AM 1170. The answer. All right, folks, welcome back. You're listening to Racer Radio. FM 961 AM 1170. The answer. Certified car clinic, whether it's on the street, the strip, the sand, the drags, wherever it is. Greg can make that thing go wicked fast. He's kind of the Mopar guy, just to let you know, folks. That is Certified Car Clinic. Go to CertifiedCarCare.net. Certified Car Care. Blah, 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 blah. Certified Car Care.net. Some of these things are tongued yesterday. Yes. Oh, finish. I'm I done. Do. Okay. I, I kind of do want to pursue a little of the fishing because it is her other passion. But before we go there, mm-hmm. um, you said something on the way up. That I wanted to pursue. It's not bad at all. I actually <laughs> I was totally like, oh. yeah. oh. it's you. You went. You went towards the direction of the sport mod. Yeah. And um, but luckily you had the car. You still had your car that you raced last night. Yeah. And you said, "quote Well, I have a relationship with that car. Oh, 100. And I totally feel that. Um, can you expand a little on that? Other um, racers may understand. I mean, I just feel like, you know, this car has been with me for a long time. And when I first got it, we did not have a good relationship. <laughs> it, it it took some time. Did you ever you know? cuss at it? <laughs> I have. That's not yeah. a no. <laughs> it's a family show. It's a family show. Yeah. There's been some, you know, there's been quite a few nights where there is probably quite a bit of profanity going on. Um, but, you know, it just, it, it takes time to get used to. You know, every car is different. Mm-hmm. Every driver is different. Every track is different. Didn't, so. It didn't know who you were. It didn't. And you're you getting know? in there and you're doing what? Uh, yeah. No, no, Why are you throwing no. me around? Why you treat me like that, Sonny? <laughs> Do you remember the moment that you bonded? Yeah, I mean, not the particular moment, but I know it was, you know, definitely have to give Mark Norris a lot of credit mm-hmm. when he got involved and helped me set up the car the way that he felt like, the car should be set up and also for your driving yeah and also to you know trying to help me like focus on a driving style that would work appropriately with what was going on with the car so once all that all those stars align then that's when we (laughs) we gained you know it became you know we we got out of the friend zone you know we we took it to the next level no 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 no, that's that's not that's not even close mark norris got in that car that car said, yes. <laughs> Whatever can, you want. Can, can I help you? And Mark Norris said a few choice words. That's funny. And the car said, okay, I promise I'll never do it again. <laughs> Got out of the car. She gets it. 
geez, is this a new car? Right? Did I get new suspension? Yeah. Did I get a new motor? Mark so, Norris has that. He can, you know, there's those horse whispers. Yeah. This guy can car talk to whisper. cars. 100%. Did you feel like you had to explain yourself to that car when you were moving out of her? <laughs> I'm assuming her. Sorry, mine's a her. Yeah, it's um, Pearl. Her name's Pearl. Pearl. Oh, I don't know. Pearl. What name. color is it? Well, now it's got all sorts of colors, but it started out white. Yeah. But now I, I would have said white. I like yeah. green, so yeah. <laughs> there's a whole bu- there's a splash of green on there. So you're just having fun paint, painting it right now. No, now I do the vinyl thing. Oh yeah, I'm yeah, a yeah. vinyl junkie now. Yeah. Is that pretty? I mean, is it is it pretty inexpensive? Like, because you're just it's not terrible. the The problem is, is if you do go, you know. You get yeah. bumper to bumper and stuff like that. It's like, yeah, oh, it's hard you to. You gotta, you gotta call your vinyl guy. Yeah, and you, you gotta, gotta do get, the whole car again because yeah. you can't patch you gotta, it. Gotta, oh, gotta well, call the vinyl guy. Yeah, my whole side from my last accident, di- I didn't revinyl it, so it's like vinyl, vinyl. Oops, something's missing. Vinyl, vinyl. Yeah, it gives it character. <laughs> yeah. So you're gonna run the whole season? No. So I will be at the track the whole season, but um, since I do, I couldn't, I couldn't part ways with with my car. No. Right. So. Thank goodness I still had it. Um, yeah. You know, it's something that I did want to just have fun with this season. Yeah. Um, so there's no pressure this season, basically. No, and you know, honestly, I feel like I'm so much. Uh, and you can concentrate on the new car. Yeah, I'm a different driver, anyways. When I'm not doing the whole point thing, or if you know, because oh, the I def- mental aspect that we might have been talking about in the green room, overthinking. Yeah. Or do we yes. call that high stress mental? No, oh, it's just <laughs> maybe something that the lady drivers have. Yeah, so having that, you know, that pressure off, I know it's, you know, obviously we always go out there to have fun, but it definitely, it amplifies that. Mm -hmm. You know, it really truly is to go out there and have fun, and once we get the sport mod back on the track, it'll be concentrating on seat time, really, more than anything, so. Maybe if there's practices, you'll have more time. (laughs) Trust me, if anybody's going to take care of it for you, it'll be this I hope that Barona was happy with the practice. I hope they don't feel like they shouldn't have had it. I don't know how they feel. No, I think right now they probably wish it was they had two days, not one day. Are you looking for help uh, regarding the sport mod? Are you looking for sponsorship? Are you looking for help or not? You're like, I got this covered. No, always definitely looking for sponsorship and stuff like that as long as, you know, I'm super transparent with them what I'm capable of doing and also what I'm looking to do. Um, Obviously, finishing the season in the sport mod and – just acquiring that seat time. Finishing in the sport mod. Okay, so we got that goal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Who's sponsoring you? So right, right now, now um, you know, obviously Norris Racing is a huge, huge mm-hmm. contributor. Um, the San Diego Automotive Museum. Cool. Um, my job is a huge, you know, they do a lot to help me out. Not only like, hey, take any time off, but they do help me financially Wait, is well. this the job where you drive in a boat to get to work? Is this the job you're talking about? Does it sound like a job so at that point? No. Awesome. That is so <laughs> yes. awesome. So, yes. Uh, the, yes, the job that I get to <laughs> drive my, my boat to work. That's um, so cool. They, so that's Tunaville Market and Grocery. Um, they, they help me out too. And, you know, there's been so many other people that, that have helped me out. You know, hey, here, you need some tires, you need some gas, or you need this, or you need that. So, um, but yeah, definitely always looking for that type of of help you know financially um as any any driver would know um it gets costly and to be obviously you need to be a good driver to be competitive but you also need a financial backing too you don't want to wad anything up (laughs) well Well, it helps when you don't Uh, but it happens it happens yeah well this girl's passionate about racing and fishing and Mm -hmm. if you're looking for a driver to back consider you know sandy rose bowler yes Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> Why did you just slap yourself, Dave? Because I always told Sandy I was going to duct tape her hands behind her and her ankles, put a hook in her mouth, Wait, what? and Whoa. throw her out what? in the park. What kind of talk show is this? Because, you know, she told, a, me, she told yeah. me the fish don't feel pain. Oh, so we're was, going there. No, wow. this girl, okay. you drive by a pond in some other yeah. state. She has a pole in it. She, oh, t- t- yeah, she, she wants does to, a lot of bass fishing and she stuff. She wants to stop. So, and her son, I think it's yeah. Joey. Is it Joey? Jeff, I think. Jeff. Yeah. He's he's on the he's on the, yeah. the circuit. I love her to death. We do a military safety. Yes, class I together. I brought my car to one of those one time. Yeah, I went out to Yuma and then one up here in Miramar. So is that your? No, that's it. Well, whose car? Just look at it. Oh, I know. I'll explain I'm so later. Happy to say, got my couple. 
couple of stickers. So he, Dave, for the listeners, Dave was handing Sonny some stickers, and I for was showing car. Dave a picture because Bum Boy was out there yeah. on Eric's car, and he. And sent guess what? He hasn't me. scratched that sticker yet. He has a. Oh, it's a really big racer radio. Well, that was the old. Like that you. was our old stickers. When to show you? Eric sent cool. this to me yesterday. Eric. Don't make me pronounce his last name, okay, please. Okay, I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't, I won't. I don't know. Oh yeah, I know him well. <laughs> so, all right. So, so when's your next race? Yeah, when are you racing again? May thirteenth. So. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah. So since I'm just doing the street stocks right now, um, the next race there won't be a street stock race, gotcha. and then then the following the next, race, yeah. It's kind of like her and yeah. dwarf. Yeah. 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 So, so yeah, it'll be about a month right. before I get back Your number? Out there. It's white car, no. green number 42. 42. What's your reason for 42? My pops. He yeah. was, he, he was number 42 yeah, see, um, see. back at Cajon Speedway. And then, um, and then when Cajon, when they got rid of Cajon, he started racing out at Barona. Right. And By the way, I do remember your dad because <laughs> well, McGrath used to have me, his wife found out that I could make a feeble attempt of announcing the races. Oh, cool. So every chance she had to take him away for a weekend, she would take him away and <laughs> I would do it. Okay. But I was a guy up there saying, paint your number on the roof of the car. I'm not Tom uh. McGrath. <laughs> or I'd screw it up and wouldn't say it right, but I never had so much fun. My last, the last, before they tore it down, I did my Sunday show up in the, uh, in the announcer's oh, booth. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. And a lot of tears. It's a shame that a lot that of track's tears. gone. Hey, you drive by today, still sitting there. I know, Empty I know. Lot. I even went so far as I, I went to this city, and they threw me out. I guess I just don't, boy. I, don't, I don't have a good personality to tell them, what the hell are you closing the track for? Let's open it. I got people. I got money. I got people. I got people. All right. Thank you, Sonny, for coming in. Absolutely. For and having you're me, always babes. welcome. You are always yes. welcome. Keep us up to de- abreast what's going on. She'll send you my email. She hasn't already, already done have. it. And then we'll work out something in probably June. Sounds great. I'll yeah. have the new car by then. Right. And then uh, we'll make a big deal. Get to out. show it off. This program is sponsored by Dave Stahl.